Welcome on Dromeburst YouTube channel. This is the product review series and we're going to review the FR Sky D8R2 Plus receiver. I will show you how you can bind it, how you can set the failsafe and review its basic parameters. This is a telemetry capable receiver which has a medium weight. It's about 12 grams. It provides 8 channels in PWM mode which means that you need to have as many wires as many channels you're going to use. It has a pretty good range. It can provide 1.5 kilometers easily with a really stable signal. As I mentioned this is a telemetry capable receiver so align with that it's compatible with uh, FR, FR Sky telemetry capable D mode uh, transmitter modules which are the DFT, DGT and DHT series. You will not be able to bind it with a V8 mode non-telemetry transmitter module. Let me show you how you can bind this receiver with your transmitter. Before you power up the receiver and the transmitter, please be sure that the transmitter uh, are in D telemetry mode, which you can set by position the two two-way switches like this, which means both are in off position. So to have the transmitter in binding mode, you need to hold this button while you switch on the transmitter and you will hear beeping which means that the transmitter is in binding mode the next thing that, that you need to do is to first check the pinouts which you can see here as you can see the middle is the positive the bottom is the signal and the up is the negative so please be sure while you power up the receiver that you do not mix these okay what you need to do is while you power up the receiver you need to hold this button okay and the red light will be flashing which means that the binding was completed to check it let's power let's remove the power cable from the receiver let's switch off the transmitter and check whether the binding was successful. First, um, switch off the transmitter and power up the receiver. Now you can see the receiver uh, green light can be seen, which means that the transmitter and the receiver can communicate with each other. Let me show you how you can set the failsafe. To set the failsafe, you need to be sure that before that you completed a successful binding. So how you can set the failsafe is first switch on the transmitter, power up the receiver, green light is flashing which means that the receiver and the transmitter can communicate with each other. Now let's move the sticks into the desired position, I'm moving the throttle sticks into zero and the only thing is that you need to do is to press this button for one sec. You will hear beeping in case of my receiver because I updated, uploaded a new firmware on it. But you will see the green light flashing twice, which means that the failsafe is completely set. You can also delete the failsafe settings. So if you do not need the failsafe function anymore, just rebind the receiver and failsafe settings will be deleted. Why failsafe is important to be set? When signal lost in a short period, the receiver continues to try to reach for the transmitter but at the same time keeps the last command from the transmitter until a new command or a signal will be received. Which basically means that your aircraft continues flying so you may never see it again if it's not set. If you said that, in case of a signal loss, your receiver will act according to the stick positions which was actually set for the failsafe. For example, if you set the failsafe by put the throttle position to zero, it means in case of a signal loss, your aircraft will just fall down. Please subscribe, feel free to share these videos and do not forget to raise your questions or comments. 
Thank you for watching.